On my mark, time will be thinking minus four minutes and counting. Three, two, one, mark. T minus four minutes and counting. 355. Ground pyros enabled. Headed for a launch time of 1225. Three minutes. Securing LO2 topping. Catalyst takes to flight pressure. 250. Yep, just internal. Two minutes. Vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequencer start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. 140. Launch enabled. Uh, T minus 25 seconds, we'll get the final go from both Atlas and yep, Centaur. Yep. Flight termination system is armed. One twenty. Orc is armed. FTS count started. One fifteen. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. One ten. Vent valve's locked. T minus one minute and counting. Forty nine. T minus forty five seconds. Stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds. 25. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. 20. T minus 50. 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter, a planetary piece of the puzzle on the beginning of our solar system. HR roll program is in progress. Vehicle body rates look good. Mr. PU has gone to fixed angle stream. Mr. Chamber pressures have plateaued. I'm rolling all the signatures look good. RD 180 operation. Mach 1. SMB chambers continue to roll off. Mach 
back skew. Boosters throttling up are on schedule. Engine response looks good. Booster view has gone to close loop control. Looking for our SRV throttle down momentarily. Engine continues to operate well. Throttle back. Looking for SRV burnout soon. Chamber pressures have plateaued on the SRVs. And we begin to roll off. And Boda has been satisfied. Vehicle is starting back up to full thrust. We have solids 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 jettisoned. Visual indication that all solids have separated well. And the booster has begun its roll for spacecraft thermal constraints. Rates look good. Plus and battery voltages are stable. And the vehicle has now gone into closed loop steering. And booster PU is also in closed loop control. Engine response looks good for the set mixed ratio. Current altitude is 45.8 miles in altitude, downrange distance 69 miles, velocity 5,413 miles per hour. Coming up on our RCS pyro valve activation, it is now fired. Systems now pressurizing the flight levels. We've begun our 2.5G throttle segment. Engine response looks good. Current altitude is 60 miles in altitude, downrange distance 118 miles. Velocity is 6,983 miles per hour. Coming up on our next mark event will be payload frame jettison followed by the CFR jettison. And we have payload frame jettison and CFR jettison. Boosters throttled back up to full thrust. Engine response looks good. Now accelerating at 4.7 Gs as we work our way to our 5G throttle segment. Boost space cooldown is underway. Now throttling to maintain 5 Gs. Pogo pyro vent has been fired. And have begun throttling to 4.6 Gs in preparation for VECO. Boost phase cooldown is complete. We have VECO. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. RCS GN2 purge fire is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Centaur closed loop steering has been enabled. Small body rates associated with closed loop steering. Vehicle tank pressures are being ramped down as expected. Centaur PU has been commanded to oxidize the rich fixed angles for the early part of this six minute and two second burn. Current altitude is 112 miles. Downrange distance is 589 miles. Velocity is 14,318 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle right down the middle of the corridor, making excellent progress. <laughs> 